Hello guys, welcome. It is me, Superfly for Gamers Lounge, and today I'm going to craft an item, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to craft an item. I'm going to craft a level 29 blue item, but you might want to craft whatever you want to craft, and I'm just going to show you how to do it. First of all, you've got to unlock the crafting station in the Boo, the base of operations. Once you've unlocked it, it'll appear just over here. As soon as you walk in, and to your left, and there it is. We're going to go on the crafting station and this is what I'm going to craft here. The tactical Mark 16 blueprint, MK16. Uh, and uh, for that I'm going to need uh, 14 weapon parts and four tools. Not just any tools, I'll need specialised weapon parts and specialised tools. And uh, I'll quickly show you how you get that sort of stuff. So at the bottom here... Um, this is where uh, material conversion uh, kicks in, and we'll just click on this here. We've got the uh, high-end stuff here. We don't, we're not bothered about that at the moment. All we're bothered about is we're making some tools and we're making some uh, weapon parts. Uh, but at the moment, we're not making any dark zone stuff. That we will look at later. Uh, we're going to make uh, some blue weapon parts, specialized blue weapon parts, and uh, some specialized tools. So, uh, as you can see here, I've got more than I ever need to, but I'm just going to show you how. So, you find these weapon, uh, weapon parts, tools, electronics, and fabric scattered throughout the place in little grey areas. As soon as you walk into the area, the area will expand on your mini map, and you'll see little item pickups flashing on the floor. If you pick those up, you'll either get green or blue. Uh, uh, Part, weapon parts, tools, electronics or fabric, whichever you happen to come across. And if you don't get blue and you tend to get green all the time, that, don't worry about it because it tells you at the bottom how many resource requirements you need to make a specialised weapon part. So for this, I need five green weapon parts to make a one blue weapon part. So I'm just going to quickly make that one now. As you can see, crafting and I have made it. And as you can see, the green weapon parts I've got, which is 73, has gone down by 5, because that's how many is required. And I'm just going to make one more set of tools as well. There we go. And as you can see, that's gone down by 5. And we've got one more blue tool. So if I back out there, go back up to my weapon, and we click on Tactical MK16 Blueprint, and that is an assault rifle. Now, if you're looking at this here, this can do a total of, depending on if we're lucky, uh, 4,380 damage. And uh, it's a roll of the dice, basically. Uh, as soon as I make this, um, I could get anywhere between the 3,843 mark and the 4,380 mark, which is slightly better. So if I'm lucky, I will get slightly better damage than uh, my Socom Scar L. However, the accuracy is not so good and stability is not so good. So I'm going to use some mods to get that. Don't forget that you might be thinking, well, it's slim pickings just to be able to get a better damage score than the Circumscar L on my right there. Well, that Circumscar L has mods on it. And if I strip the mods off, you'll find that the damage reduces dramatically. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get the high end of the scale. Fingers crossed. Whoa! Whoa. Not only did we get the high end, we we bust that end open. That's that's insane. 4,621. Although at a reduced RPM, I'm not bothered. 30 mag. Let's, let's see if we... Uh, that's amazing. I'm going to really use this. This this. Right, I'm going to quit out of this. That's the first time I've actually built something. That's, uh, I, I should sound even happier. I am. I'm, I'm ecstatic. Let's have a look here. Let's strip the mods off that. Uh, that's it there. I'm going to strip the mods off this. It's probably going to end up been worse DPS, but let's uh, let's find out. So let's strip that off. It, wow! Straight away we can tell that this is so much better. And uh, let's let's go on. And I'm a DPS uh, sort of tank guy, so I'm I'm not going to bother with the muzzle anymore. Uh, but I need some stability and I need some. Uh, let's have a look at the magazines here. Uh, we've got four percent critical hit chance, uh, ten point five percent reload speed. Or we want rate of fire and magazine side. I think we want rate of fire and magazine size. As you can see here, as I'm going up and down, it will increase my DPS. So I'm going to select that. Already at 44,000. Let's select this. And we've only got one left there. And I, I, I reckon we'll have to stick it in. It looks snazzy there. Not. And we're lacking a little bit of a scope. Red dot sight. I'm not too keen on that. 
it looks a bit crap, but I'm not I'm not here for the uh, for the cosmetics of it. And I've got a little nice little tiger strike camo there. Or oh, we've got an urban. Let's stick with that for now. Both weapons like that. So I'm not bothered with that uh, muzzle. And already I'm nearly at fifty thousand DPS. So just out of this little video, guys, I'm really grateful to be able to show you a, a well crafted item. And I was so lucky that I got a high DPS damage rate uh, weapon at base rate. That's amazing. Right, guys, get crafting. Find crafting parts, or even convert your own. But I suggest you do a lot of crafting. If you can't find any areas, or you don't want to go out looking for areas, that's really simple. Just simply go to your inventory, look through your bits and pieces, and for instance that, I'm going to mark that for deconstruction. Okay, uh, I'll go there, and I'll also mark, I'm not going to do that actually, I'm going to go here. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to mark that for deconstruction. And then when I deconstruct the two that I've marked with that have bin liners on them, or bins on them, I deconstruct now, it will deconstruct both into two lots of fabric. And I've got fabric for that. And if you deconstruct weapons, let's have a look at these weapons here. I don't want to deconstruct that just yet. I've only just got rid of it. I want to see what this uh, tactical uh, MK16 is like. It might be crap, it might be good. I might be saying the name wrong. Who knows? Who cares? Anyway. Uh, you would get weapon parts off that for gear, you'd get tools, and uh, what, what else is there? There's fabric, there's weapons uh, parts, there's tools, and there's electronics. So if you take apart uh, some of your gear mods, you'll get electronics for that as well. Or it might be weapon mods, I cannot remember. I'm so excited about this gun. Let's get over to the shooting range and we'll test it out. If I've gone the right way, yeah. Where's the shooting range? So far away. There's the suiting range, and I'm going to test out on here. So, 4,621 to the body, and 8,664 to the head. From a good shot. And look at the stability on that. That is shockingly good stability. Oh, wow. Let's, let's get, see if we can get the head. Yes. But, I said, yeah, whilst I'm moving about... It's not, well, with any weapon, it's not going to be good. But anyway, I'm, that, that's amazing. I can't wait to show the guys that. And that's it from me, Superfly. See you later.